How's it going everyone? Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Cobb Gaming bringing you a video of Best Overall Legendary Farm. In this video I'll be showing you how to get both legendary weapons and armor from events. The reason why I specifically am naming off just events by itself is because usually events are honestly from what I've experienced the best overall way to actually get both not only a promising reliable source of legendary gear and weapons but not only that the enemies the legendary bosses are typically going to be a lot better in these events overall that i'm going to show you in this video today so typically some may argue that it's not about the events some may say it's all about the locations your techniques and especially knowing the areas to get the best overall satisfaction out of your loot this, in some cases, can be true, just depending on exactly, you know, knowing your area and everything. But for those who kind of don't know where to start, maybe are kind of out of luck, they've tried almost about everything that they've either heard from friends, other gamers, or just a friend that they run into in the game, this video is going to kind of give you a better idea of what to go after, and that's going to be events. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So to get started with this, we're going to head over to this event called Iridium Fever. This is going to take place right over at the Blackwater Mine. For reference, it's going to be right outside the White Spring Station. The reason why we're starting with this one first is because, believe it or not, this is probably the, the best overall event to actually go to. A lot of people go to it, and it's usually pretty reliable for legendary loot. You're going to have three legendary, three-star le three star legendary excuse me three star legendary mole miner so there's gonna be three of them in this event um i usually get pretty good results out of this one so let's go ahead and jump right into it please stop and approach for identification welcome back employee zero so when you first get here, you're actually going to go right Only over to that bot and walk up and <gasps> show your employee identification, which apparently you do have. There's nothing you have to necessarily go get by itself, so don't worry about trying to find some sort of identification card of any sort or any ID. You should be pretty much ready to go in the moment that you walk up to that bot real quick. So we're going to go over there real quick. Number zero one. Oh, and you are over. Hours late for your shift. Welcome back. Yeah, so apparently it's been a very long time since you've come back to work for the mine, but <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny at first whenever I attended this event. I just was kind of blown away. I'm like, oh, okay, well, apparently we've worked here. <laughs> Alrighty, so you're going to make your way inside. You're going to follow this all the way straight down. This little railway here, so you're just going to kind of follow it straight down. It doesn't go down too far, but most of you that are watching this video have already attended this event, so but some of you, this is not news. For some that have never done this event before, so this guy gets some of these kills real quick. <laughs> All right, so again, we're going to make our way down here. Right, so this place is going to have nothing but mole miners. Nothing too difficult, but depending on your level, max you'll see them at 40, but they, I wouldn't worry too much. I'm going to grab some of this. Oh, this is empty cool, or whatever. So, you're going to walk through here, you're going to go to this terminal, you're going to initialize and activate the uranium extractors, which is there right now, initialize uranium extractor units. Just going extraction to extraction process initiated. Keep away from extraction units while operational. Hostile trespassers detected. Employees are encouraged to remove trespassers before damage to extractor units occurs. Alright, so... How this event will necessarily work, you'll want to make sure that you keep small miners away from the extractors. 
keep them running at all times just so this event goes by quicker. Um, this event usually doesn't take too long actually, so that's kind of a nice thing about this event too, is that it's not a long event to actually go through. And, not that difficult. So, you're just gonna kind of go through these guys and just kill them all. So, you're gonna have three way- oh, oh, like, like right there, you're gonna have to that. attention to all the extractors. This will require a little bit of running around, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, also, another thing to note is that you're going to probably want a little bit of steel with you, um, just because since it does take at least 10 steel to repair the extractors. Um, so for those who are going to get involved in this, if you are very, fairly new, just try to remember to have quite a bit of steel with you. If not, uh, I probably wouldn't solve this by yourself. I would at least have two or more people with you, at least uh, 15 or higher, as this guy is 15. He's kind of an example, actually. Um, I just wouldn't get involved in this if you're too low. Detecting terminated management All personnel. Right, so when the system boards are now, from the premises. That little announcement right there that means the legendary right there. So, right there is going to be a three star legendary. Some machine gun. And it's a three star. Heck yeah, there we are. That is actually not a bad roll. I'll grab this really quick, actually. Let this guy not die real quick. Alrighty. So, that was a pretty damn good gun actually I was pretty impressed with that let's go ahead and check that out again real quick yeah that is not bad it would have been better with explosive rounds kind of like my 10 mil right here adequate uranium volume extracted and processed output quantity increased detecting terminated management personnel remove this individual from the premises I think that's a three star. That is, in fact, another three star. Help this guy out really quick. I think he's gonna need some stim packs too. I'm usually one of those players, by the way, guys. I always like to help lower level players. Um, anyone in particular that plays with me, I always like to make sure I help them out. There we go. I think his gun is broken, doesn't really have much material, so I'm going to get, out of get through this. But let's go ahead and check out that. It's a wood leg. I'm not even going to pay attention, but yep, there was a monster out of that. Unfortunately, that's sometimes the luck of the draw. <laughs> Alright, so this will be the last all-star legendary to come out. Okay, let's see. He's over here. Damn, okay, they're all over there. Let this guy need some ammo. Or something. He's kind of struggling. Alright, so there's a three-star right there. Make sure you get your shot on that 
Disaster him. <laughs> Adequate uranium oh. volume extracted and processed. Output quantity increased. <laughs> Come on. Get your shots, man. I'm not worried. Okay. Alrighty, so that will be the end of it. And let's see. Ah, okay. There we go. We got pretty lucky with that. 30% damage to my lurks and bugs, 50% land damage, take 40% less damage while clearing, while power, oh, excuse me, Fleh, take 40% less damage while power, extraction damage. complete, that's actually not too Extractors bad, extractors must complete cleaning and ventilation be process be before event. continuing like said, operation, super easy to get through, not Please too difficult, vacate. but as you can see, I can, that was actually not too bad, um, again, it's going to be different for everyone, but for me, um, that I was able to get uh, pretty decent weapons from that. Now, of course, I don't really use um, much of knives, so to say. I'm more forced into my sledgehammers and the heavier melee weapons. But nonetheless, as you saw, we didn't get too bad of results from that. And I'm pretty happy with that. So we can get through these guys. Alrighty, there we go. Oh, come on. Let's get him. Alrighty, so yep, that was not a bad run, guys. So, just to get you all started and familiar with this event, this is going to be a good event to go with. But off to the next one. So, whenever you do actually notice this event that happens, uh, Super Mutant Horde, the Forest, it can be anything, honestly. Um, literally, it is a single three-star legendary Super Mutant. If you ever see it, it's super quick and easy. All you gotta do is just kill the three-star legendary, and that's it. Pretty much simple as that. There's nothing else more to it that's complicated, so we're actually gonna go kill this little asshole. And it's funny because since this event will tell you wipe out the horde that's infesting the forest, it's literally you end the event the moment that you kill the three-star legendary boss. And in this case, the three-star legendary boss is a super mutant that is a three-star legendary. So that's what we're hunting down. He is on the move, actually. He's moving actually kind of fast, too. That's weird. Oh, never mind. He's actually right there. Yep. You see guys it's a three star right there so we're just gonna kind of knock him out i got my buddy right behind me so i'm actually gonna he's just gonna go right in for it <laughs> yeah yep there we are like i said event completed all right let's see what we got just golf club and it's a three star all righty there we go that actually works out pretty decent. I was not wanting a golf club, but in my case, this is what I got. Not a bad roll, though. 30% damage to animals reflects 50% damage back while blocking. Ah, uh, well, I might take that back. That's actually... It's it's okay. It's not the best. I'm not going to worry about taking it. I have no interest into it. But still, this just kind of shows you um, one, you can end this event by just simply killing the three-star legendary boss and just kind of get it over with. But as... As you just saw, very simple, super quick. Uh, if you ever do run into that event, just join it if you really want a quick, easy kill for getting yourself some chances of either getting something a little bit better than this. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and hop over to the next event. So here we are with another event going on here for a horde, mostly. So this is going to be an event for Feral Ghouls. So these are typically going to have three-star legendaries as well. So these... I find to kind of reoccur every so often, but not so much, but whenever you do see them, just kind of stay on the lookout on your map, because you never know. You can usually find these little events happening here and there, um, not so often, but I have noticed I've been seeing these events happening a lot more frequently, so we're actually going to go ahead and just get right into this. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Well, I kill you quick. <laughs> That guy almost whooped my ass for a second. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay. Tell me how you really, really feel, bud. <laughs> Where's this guy at? Right. Get out of here. <laughs> so, obviously, we're not here to kill these ghouls. Of Ooh, okay, I'm gonna take that. We're not here to kill these super mutants. We're here to actually kill the three-star legendary ghoul. Just like the last little clip that I showed you that I was over at the Super Mutant Horde, um, kind of the same scenario. Look for the three-star legendary, take him out, end of the event, simple as that. I'm just going to deal with these guys real quick. Alright, so... And, oh, okay, well, where'd they go? Oh, okay, actually... It's alright out there. Okay, so we're actually going to head... I think I'm heading in the right direction, yeah, so... Pay attention to your map, look for the little circular section right here, the little spot, or like the area, so right now find the source of the feral ghoul horde, zero out of four searched, okay, so we're gonna go that way, once you get closer to the spot where you're supposed to search for the ghouls, just trying to keep your eyes open, find that three star, take them out, end of the event, so, you never know where they're truly at, you just gotta go in the spot and try to find them, so, There'll be some roaming around you would have to do in order for you to actually find the ghoul. It's not here. Actually kind of going outside the boundary. I'm just going to stay in the center because that's usually where they're going to be at. Tell me to search now. Okay. It's not, oh, I'm on a little wild goose hunt now. Okay. So, let's actually run through the. I, you know, it's funny because since I've actually I've done these events before, just this one in particular is having you go to these little areas to search. So I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark and head over to the national isolated radio array. See if I can find them there. So so far you'll just have to look for them, try to find the port somewhere. We want to see where it's at here. Hopefully this is a spot. Usually you have to jump from spot to spot to usually find them, but... Alright, let's make sure I'm in the area. Yeah, I'm in the area. I heard gunfire, so I'm guessing the ghouls are here. Yep, I think they're here. Yep, they might be. Or the screens are just shooting at each other. Oh no, it's a freaking Yagwai! What the heck is a Yagwai doing in the building? <laughs> That's what they're shooting at. There is a freaking Yagwai in the building. A glowing one, too. Where did it go? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, your Houdini days are over now, buddy. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, well, never mind. It's not here. But, I will kill these super guns, though. Good XP. Yeah, as you can see, depending on the type of the super mutant, you can usually get quite a bit of XP per kill. Like, that one right there. This Warlord... Yeah, Warlord got me 220 out of that. Right, so, next location. Black one or mine? I doubt it. But we're just gonna check this real quick. Alrighty, so let's look over here. Oh, right inside the boundary. There we go. Alright. So somewhere around here they'll be here. Hopefully. Oh, <laughs> Ugh! 
Not another source. Okay, so this is yet not the place where they're at. Just gotta keep looking, but again, there's some enemies here. Oh, I was Next spot. This might be the place. I'm gonna check it out. There's a three star. I just killed him. Ooh, mutants. Okay, I'm gonna check that out here in a second. Let's get rid of these guys. Okay, that was extremely weird. I don't know why that happened. Okay, two star. Not too bad. Alright, well there we go. Yep, but, eh, not the best rolls. Damage increased by 10% if you're mutated. Oh, ah, eh, well, that could be a little bit better. I am mutated, obviously, so. Uh, fashion increased by 40%. Still not too bad of a roll. Um, eh. I'll just take it just to sell it, but there we go. So, got that real quick. It's just, I don't, I was such a wild goose hunt just to find this one cool but we got him dead now so he's he's over with but yep so again kind of like the same thing we just witnessed with <laughs> the super mutant horde um this one was a little bit more difficult for some weird reason uh like i said i've done these b events before with the ghoul hordes but sometimes i believe this just, just shows you that they actually kind of change it up a little bit um you know, have to actually search for the horde itself um just depends on the certain ca locations that um, you'll have to go through to find it, but yeah, eventually you uh, track them down. But yep, so now we're gonna head off to the next event. Next location we're gonna definitely be checking out also for this. We're gonna actually go over to the Robco Research Center. We're gonna be joining the event AWOL of Marmots. So this is actually gonna be one of the better events to actually attend to. Uh, this can get a little difficult. Um, I would definitely recommend that you are at least higher than a 50. Um, just because since these bots usually just are relentless and they apply a lot of damage so we're talking about Sergeant Gusty's a much more uh, in this event for sure so we're gonna go ahead and get launched into this attention patriotic citizens this is Sergeant Gutsy ABA-1 a United States Army convoy has been attacked send authorities and able-bodied individuals to the Rob Securing important prototype robotic armament when we were attacked by protesters, hippies, and saboteurs. These bots are crucial military hardware, currently AWOL, and must be recovered before they fall into enemy hands. Use the button in the truck to activate the emergency recall beacon. Be quick about it. I don't have much time left before I need to power down again. The bots are wandering the nearby countryside. No doubt got their screws knocked loose during the ambush. Be warned. They are extremely dangerous. All right, so then you, what you're going to do after listening to him, you're going to walk inside here, you press this button here, and this is going to kind of start the event. So you're actually going to go through a couple waves of these gusties, uh, so just kind of go through them each at a time. There's going to be three waves of them. After the third wave that you get through, you're going to encounter a three-star legendary gutsy, and typically this gutsy actually drops quite a bit good loot honestly for just both weapons and armor um but there is one thing i do want to put this out there and i can't fathom this enough don't stand over the body or just whatever is left of the gutsy which is just going to be scraps at that point because if you stand over it after you kill him he will explode and even for my level i i die instantly i've i can't explain how many times i've actually had to have remembered that until I actually got it through my skull because it just wasn't working out. <laughs> so definitely watch out, pay attention to it. Um, remember, if you kill him, just stay back. Stay back, wait for the explosion to happen, and then go over to the body and loot whatever you can off of him. And okay, well this is odd. The legendary is out right now. That's really weird. Oh, it's already weird. That's why. <laughs> All right. Alrighty, so again, I'm gonna back up. Back up, man. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna go. <laughs> so 
take here in a second. Any time now, come on. Usually go to spin. <laughs> I'm not even going to trust it. I, I don't even trust it at this point. Um, okay. I guess uh, this time it didn't do it. Um, I'm kind of scared to get any closer. I don't know what's going Okay. Oh, there we go. Well, this is actually a one star, which isn't too bad. It's different for everyone. That's the one thing I want to kind of explain a little bit. These are locations that I am showing you guys based upon their loot. Now, even though I got a one star here, it doesn't necessarily mean it's unreliable. I just happened to get a one star. The legendary system is very random. There's no actual guarantee that you're typically going to get a three star after every three star kill you get from a legendary so for me i'm okay with that that's a one star i mean of course it'd be better if it was two stars but in this case you know it's a one star it's a bloody sledgehammer i have i i have honestly nothing to complain about but obviously we're going after the two or three star but nevertheless this is definitely one of the locations and events that i would definitely recommend you guys check out uh again just because since i got a one star doesn't necessarily mean this is something you should expect i just for sometimes my luck is just bad and i will just get a one star um i pretty much it happens to everyone but again over here at the robco research center a wall of marmots definitely worth joining and make sure you get your hits on if you're on a team so you can get that legendary loot from that Alrighty, so now we're going to move on to the next location. So this is going to be another event that I definitely recommend you guys get involved with. This is One Violent Night. Now this takes place at the location of the Sons of Dane compound. Uh, this is just more so of uh, kind of like a trashed out bar with a bunch of, bunch of dudes like to go to, uh, well, when they were alive at the point. But anyways, we're going to actually go ahead and just go ahead and get involved into this event real quick. Son of a bitch in particular is actually a Wendigo. So a Wendigo will appear after when you do get enough noise going on now. So that's actually happening at this point. So up in the top right corner, as you can you guys see on the screen, once that bar hits to the very top, you will actually have the ghoul, not the ghoul, but the Wendigo to come out. So that's the whole point of it. It's going to be a three star legendary. And we actually got quite a bit of crowd now here, so these people are not the only one that know this place. So, as you can see, there's quite a bit of people that will get involved in this because it is actually one of the other places that do have reliable loot. So, this actually makes things better because since it's... You always want to do this with a team, usually, but soloing it, I would definitely recommend being at least 50 or higher. Um, and also making sure that you have... Some good weapons too. Make sure you're pretty well equipped for this because since there will be quite a bit of ghouls. Now, ghouls are not necessarily the main point of concern because they are ghouls and they're relatively easy to kill, but they kind of do come out in large groups. So definitely worth having quite a bit of... It's trying to reach it through the wall. <laughs> There we go. Yep, this is part of the other reason why, too. You can just kind of go along with it. Again, what the heck? <laughs> I don't know why he's trying to... Dumbass fool. How is he... That's odd. 
That's kind of funny, though. It's like... I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how that goal is even able to even apply any damage to the, the jukebox when it's literally hitting a wall. But there's not even a tape playing. There we go. Yeah, make as much noise because you can have that Wendigo come out quicker if you have way more noise. The goal is to obviously piss off the Wendigo to come out. Alrighty, that Wendigo is almost out. After when you complete it, Wendigo's gonna come right out. And here he is outside. Come on now. Alrighty. Go over to the Wendigo, see what you get. I got a bloody... Wow. Okay. My luck is actually really bad right now. <laughs> That's alright, though. But still, nevertheless, this is still something you want to be getting involved with. Uh, again, because since this is another good source, good legendary enemy to get some legendary loot from. But for me, I got a one star. And I I don't know what's been going on for me, man. It's, it's, it's weird. I, I, I will have times where... Believe it or not, I'll have like a two-star legendary that I kill, and I get a three-star. Like, like I was trying to explain, don't get disappointed, keep going at it. Um, eventually, you should be able to get a little bit more out of what you just saw there. But for some reason, I'm just getting the worst luck at the moment. <laughs> it's not a, not a bad thing. Just got to keep on server hopping, waiting to see if you can run into that event, and... Sooner or later, you should be a little bit luckier, hopefully, than me. But we're going to go ahead and hop up over to the next event. And to finish it up, this will be the last event that I will show you guys. This is going to be decent, not too bad. You should expect at least two or one at least three-star legendary ghouls from this. This is the event called Monster Masters. It takes place over by the Watoka High School, just right outside over by the Watoka Station. Um, if you guys haven't found this location, to kind of give you some reference. Um, if you have found like White Springs, maybe even from just starting from Vault 76, you're going to take that corner, drag that cursor all the way down, and you'll go over here in this little area where you see this tall building right here. This is going to be right over here, over by the Watauga High School, so we're going to go ahead and actually get started with this last event. Race to find the monster mask. After you get it, run from the students. As you flee, candy will fall from holes in the mask. Be sure to collect as much as possible. The more candy you collect, the more supplies you will be awarded from next year's discretionary budget. There are also stashes of candy hidden around the school. Find them and refill the mask. Students, you must chase and hit the monster mask with your baseball bats like a pinata. You can keep any candy that falls out of the mask, or you can make the smart choice and turn it in for prizes. And remember, this is the only time it is permitted to hit a teacher while on school grounds, and only the one wearing the mask. On your marks, get ready, go. So didn't really have to do much explaining there, pretty self-explanatory. Um, so what's gonna happen, you're gonna have to go around the school and try to find the mask. Um, this place has got quite a bit of ghouls actually. Um, it's pretty nice though, kind of like how I was explaining over by the one violent night, you know, obviously ghouls are gonna have a bunch of chems, caps, and like I said, chems right here. Um, so, you I mean there's going to be some good loot from this? Actually, that mask is upstairs. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. But, just like he explained, um, the one wearing the mask is going to 
we'll go around the school, collect a bunch of candy. The moment you pick up the mask, it's actually already, already going to be put on your head. So you're going to actually just go around, follow your marker, and try to find a bucket of candy. Um, when you kill some of these ghouls, you will find candy on their corpse. Um, the Halloween candy, pretty much. Um, you're going to be using that candy if you collect enough to dispense it to the smart choice machine. If I, if I were to take it to school, I would not even go anywhere close to the machine. I would just be taking all the candy myself. <laughs> But you're going to be walking around, picking up some of that candy. If you do collect quite a bit of candy, actually, you can um, scrap it, or not really scrap it, but dispense it into that vending machine right here. And you can get, like, some pencils and all that type of good shit, so you can actually use it for some materials. Um, I don't even... It's weird because it's, it requires quite a bit of candy for a freaking pencil and some other stuff. I really don't have any interest or care um, for it, so I usually just drop the candy at the end of the bed. But pick the candy, go find the next one, and grab some of this stuff from schools. Grab some more candy. Um, you want to kind of keep your eyes out, see if you can find any of the ghouls. Like I said, it should be at least two. Um, I have yet to have seen at least three come out of this, but you know, not too bad. This isn't really that bad of an event. This event does kind of take a while. You'd be going through three rounds of hunting not only for the mask but the buckets of candy um this should take at least maybe if i'm correct 13 14 minutes to get through um not too bad but it is kind of longer than others but still worth it just got to kind of go around and find the two ghouls that you'll get from here and also the ghouls like to poured over by the bucket of candy so sometimes what I like to do is actually just kind of sit back and wait a little bit so I can see how many boys I can get at the bucket of candy just like this I'll kind of just wait sit around and hopefully you can lure in and one of those legendary ghouls to spawn over yes yeah, so we got three right there you really don't do anything they just kind of stand around and just gaze over the glory of the bucket of candy <laughs> Uh, I don't really see anymore, so I'm just gonna do what's here. Actually, here we are. Well, that's a one star. That'll happen sometimes in this event, too. But, definitely not worth even picking that up so I'm not even going to care for it so then that means one of the other goals that you'll find in here will hopefully be a three star and it was actually in front of me I don't know why I stepped down but you'll run into that sometimes just with any event honestly you'll you'll run into that issue um not hopefully like I said not too often for me it's it's weird I'll usually get oh there's a two star that's weird okay <coughs> got out of this. It's a one star. <laughs> hopefully, and I mean hopefully, we can get three out of this because I would like to at least get a three star legendary to come out. Here we are, third one. There we go. It's just here. Oh, okay. There we go. So, like I said, usually two, but in my case, I did get a third one. So, that... I'm not saying it doesn't happen and it's rare. That concludes the oh, monster match. Thank you to our teachers, students, and volunteers who made the event possible. And remember to make the smart choice this year and turn in your candy for healthy and wholesome gifts and surprises. Have a safe and pleasant Halloween, everybody. Alrighty, not too bad, two shot. But it is a junkies one, but there we go. We got a third one to show up. Um really wish that wasn't a little bit better than just this grenade launcher, but is isn't too bad. It's none of my interest, so I'm not going to even waste my time picking it up, but that pretty much concludes this video. So if you guys have any questions, any concerns or comments, um, go ahead 
and leave some comments below. If there was anything that you think about this video that I missed out on, I am always open to hearing suggestions, even some thoughts to be shared. I'm all about the information. This whole video was the purpose of making sure that I got this video out to people who were at least looking, but also trying to find a good, reliable source for legendary loot. And I hope this video helps you out as much as it did for me too, just because since again, this is something that I've kind of picked up on from just going to these events. I even, not gonna lie, even looked at some other videos and kind of picked off on some of those events too, but there was a lot of them that I did notice, even with ones that were being suggested by other YouTubers, that these were the spots, must go to spots, and that you couldn't miss out on anything. But the, things have kind of been changing with some of these updates so far that Bethesda has put out but nonetheless these events should work out for you I really hope they will work out for you as much as they have for me as so you guys can see in this video hopefully your luck is a little bit better I'm pretty sure it might be again if you have issues all you have to do is just do a couple server hops join the same events multiple times and you should get pretty good results out of your legendary farming so thank you guys so much for tuning in hit that subscribe button and again this is Cobb Gaming see you next time